Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be all about the squats and activating the glutes properly. So again, we are going to dive into some pre-stretching, glute activation and also correction of good and bad posture of the squat technique and also some exercises that can help develop the glutes areas and definitely the hamstrings. So sit back, relax, make sure you give this video a little thumbs up already, but let's get into the first point, which is all about the dynamic stretching. Stretching and mobility is gonna be the first area that we're gonna be talking about. This is an area that a lot of people don't do, and to be fair, I don't do enough myself. So I'm just running through a couple of stretches uh, here, just to show you um, kind of the things that I try and like to do just before we are going into sort of a lower body day. So what we're trying to do here is basically just making sure that the body is nice and warm, nice and flexible through every sort of movement. And um, we're just preparing the body to know that it's gonna, gonna be going through a lot of work through posterior chain, putting quite a lot of load through the hips areas and especially the knees and just posterior chain really. So the benefits of stretching is you extend the tissue to its full length. If you hold that tension long enough, the muscle will be longer once it's relaxed again. So stretching your muscles is similar to stretching an elastic band. So more, the more benefits that we have, the better we're gonna move that load and the better that we can perform. So it cre increases the range of motion. It also reduces the risk of muscle and joint injury, so it's so important, and uh, also reduces joint and back pain. Again, a lot of people suffer with lower back pain and this is primarily something so simple that you can add into sort of your daily routine in the gym to prevent that. It also improves uh, your balance and also can reduce the risk of you like kind of falling over, um, ha have you know. And also, again, a massive one increases posture. So a lot of people who have bad posture, uh, majority have bad range of movement and flexibility through mainly part of the posterior chain. And as you can think, um, with a person that is more likely to sit down for the most of the day, their, their shoulders are rounded through um, that posture, being over a sat at a desk, and so on. Now we are gonna move into pre-glute activation. So here are a couple of exercises that I like to do. This one's called sort of like the clam, where we lie sort of flat on our side, and what we're doing is trying to keep the heels together and just opening up the legs. Also, we're gonna add into a straight leg lift. It's kind of simple, guys, just staying in one motion. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the legs slightly outwards, bending the bottom knee inwards, and then we're just gonna sort of think about the glutes, think about the bum cheek, and really think we want these to be firing, and so on. Next point we're gonna talk about is the feet setup. So again, this comes down to preference of where we uh, kind of, because everybody is designed differently, so our hips are wider than others, especially in females. So what we're trying to look for is just a, a nice sort of neutral stance, shoulder width apart, and then our toes slightly uh, pointed in the clock, so 11 o'clock to one o'clock. And also you can take a nice long distance again. So we're gonna go through a little bit of tracking of the knee. So every again, everybody is different as it's a multi-joint movement. Some people's knees kind of go over the toe and um, some people's knees don't go over the toes. So again, just make sure that we're not really pushing all the force over the toes and making the stress for the knees. So as long as we're sitting back through the heels, um, that is what we are looking for in here. So we're gonna go through some poor techniques so we can just show you the difference between them. So again, as you can see on the screen, leaning forward way too much, and then as we come down, we drive through the hips and the bum shoots up first in this movement. So we want the load to kind of stay in one plane of movement. Again, you'll see that from this clip that the heels will come off the floor. Again, so that means basically all the weight is through our toes. Now we're gonna go into some good technique. So as we can see, we walked up into a position, set up nice and correctly. We're looking for that nice flat back at the movement, controlling the weight down a bit more, chest is much more upright and the back is flat in that movement. As you can see, through that red line, we don't lean forward, so the weight is contrib contributed all down in one center of gravity. So again, this takes time, and again, if you are thinking that this doesn't happen with you, it is due, primarily due to flexibility within sort of the knees and the hips. 
So we're going to go through some exercises which are called RDLs. This is just the setup, so we're looking for feet to be shoulder width apart and then we're going to imagine that we are pushing somebody behind us with our bum and hips. Again, at the bottom phase of the movement, our shoulders are not rounded, our back is nice and flat, making sure the bar is close to us. Again, a good little tip to activate them a little bit more is to raise the toes a little bit elevated. So what we did here was just add two disc weights and then just place our toes on top of the disc, which will add greater tension through the hamstrings and also lower back as well. But again, it is a great movement for development of the hamstrings. Next movement is a forward lunge position. So again, we are looking for a big stride opening. So again, if we were thinking about a longer stride, we are gonna be getting into that hamstring and glute area, tying much more than say a narrow stance, which will get into our quads more. Again, we're looking for sort of like a half a second to one second pause at the bottom. Again, people don't do that. They kind of just jump up straight away and then just kind of push off. Again, this is also working core balance and it's very good for range of movement because we're opening up our hips. So if we want to make that a little bit more harder, we will gonna, we're going to add in a big old step into it. So we, like I recommend maybe starting off with just body weight. So the foot is way higher than actually coming from 90 degrees. So again, the only muscles that should be working to push yourself up, up onto that box of the step are mainly your hamstrings and glutes again. So the bigger range of movement on the step, the more you're likely to recruit muscle fibers and make the body work harder. If you're thinking that's maybe a little bit too easy, again, we can just add in a little bit of resistance with the dumbbell. So same again, keeping the chest nice and flat, Back is nice and upright, pushing through the heels and then come into a standing start up on top of that box. Again, take your time on coming down off the box also. Guys, I know it's short and sweet, but hopefully this is kind of just aiming for like the beginners and obviously maybe advanced or intermediates. Again, hopefully you've learned something from it. If you have, please let me know down in the comments and also give me the, that little like on the video. It does definitely help. But if you have any sort of requests or anything that you want me to cover within sort of YouTube videos or even on Instagram, you can follow me here, which will be bump. And then uh, I will definitely get back to you and just take the feedback on board. But for now, I'll probably see you all in the next video. So peace out for now.